happy-looking fellow. What a lovely smile you have. <laughs> Just like my Enzo. Just like my Enzo before he got hit by the bus. <laughs> oh, well, bye-bye, Crab. <laughs> you on home. Oh, hello, Ted. How was your day? Bloody shambles, of course. Someone should blow everybody except me up. Everyone did. Oh, well, Bob Hawke can stay and Peter Brock, as long as he keeps on winning. But talking about winning, there's one mob that's got to go, and that's our test cricketers. How dare they skip around the West Indies collapsing like a bunch of girls. But you said the West Indies were cheating. Well, they must have been. Nobody could play cricket that well without having that much fun. Pickle me, grandmother, well, what's all this food glomp here? Oh, this is a special dinner I'm preparing for Bob and Mel. You remember, Ted, I told you about it. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Just remember that it's my kitchen and my electricity, so I get half of what she pays you. But I'm not charging her. Why not? She's horrible. <laughs> I'm doing it because she's my friend. A oh, bull. Merle's only friend Merle's got as a psychiatrist, and even he started to drink now. <laughs> Boy, jeez, that crab reminds me of someone. Enzo, doesn't he remind you of Enzo? Yes, he does too. Maybe he came back as a crab. <laughs> I, just, I just hit him with a hammer. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, jeez. Dutch is really tough, mate. Oh, you can't take a trick, can you? Oh. No, I think he's having an accident there. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I think I'll put him down again, don't you? What a terrible oh, thing to say. Awful thing. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Maybe next time he'll come back as a tank. Yeah. It, it couldn't possibly be Enzo anyway. My Enzo had a moustache. Oh. Oh, well, oh, geez, uh, yeah, that's right, Enzo. Enzo's so clever, he can, he can whistle with his head in a bowl of custard. Oh, God, <laughs> give him a rest, will you, woman? Now, what's all this dinner gunk all about? Ah, oh, well, Bob and Merle have a man coming in from the country who's interested in buying the business. Has he got a brain problem, has he? <laughs> no, that's why they're having this special dinner party. Why they've had the whole house done up. You know, tonight they're hiring a butler and everything, so the man will think you can get rich out of selling cars. Oh, he's no deal as our Bob. If anyone could sell hot water bottles to the Eskimos, he could. Now, where's the freeloader? Craig is in the lounge room. Oh, well, now, look, before Merle comes in to pick all this stuff up, do us a favour, will you? What? Chuck Enzo in the fridge. I think I'll have him for dinner. Uh. <laughs> I was reading that. Tough. It's my paper. It's my paper. <laughs> Listen, boy, this is my house, you're wearing out my carpet, and that is my paper. <laughs> I am sorry, Daddy dear, it is my paper! <laughs> it's mine. Give us it. It is bloody mine. Oh, damn you! Ah, 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 ah. All right. Have it your own way. Thank you. <laughs> you are being very childish, Dad. I'm not. It's mine. I paid to it. So there. Poo to you. <laughs> well, I'm here. Where's Rosa? Rosa, where are you? She's in the kitchen. Oh, thank you. Ted, here's your paper. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Don't know what you're bitching about. Both papers are exactly the same. The Rosa, I'm not prepared to argue, but I definitely said I want purple stripes in the mayonnaise. Sorry, Moo. Now I'm stuck with green splodges. Still, I'll manage somehow. If I were paying you for this, I'd demand a discount. Sorry, Moo. 
Is someone going to open the door for me? I'll do it. Thank you, Craig. I couldn't expect the Mally Root here to get off his bum and help a lady. <laughs> oh, there you go, Mills. It's my house, you know. Go back to Mandrake, Ted, before you lose your place. Ray, how kind. <laughs> Would you like a hand, Auntie Merle? Just Merle, Craig. My, you're becoming quite a spunk. So fit, <laughs> so healthy, so... Ooh. Now that the pool has been rebuilt, thanks to your father, you must come over and see me sometime. You can take a dip, if you like. Yeah, I, 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 I'd really like that. <laughs> Any time. Yeah, I'll let you know, Merle. <laughs> Love the boy. Rosa, keep gutting those prawns. I'll be back in ten minutes. Bye-bye, Craig. <laughs> Harry Butler's right. They shouldn't be allowed to go feral. <laughs> anyway, what's she talking about, you helping them rebuild the pool? Oh, well, you know what Bob's like. He's, he's had this huge dining room dug underneath his house, right next door to his pool. He's got a big glass window in the side of the pool so that, you know, when you're having dinner, you can, you can watch the people's legs splashing around in the water. <laughs> well, what for? Well, I don't know. You know what, Bob? Lucky likes to skite about his money. He, he reckons that Merle's going to do underwater ballet. How? Get a, an underwater record player, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> she'll look like the Loch Ness Monster trying to tap dance. Shh! Oh, no, she'll hear you. She's got ears everywhere. No, she just looks like that. <laughs> Anyway, how did you help him? Well, I managed to get hold of this special underwater putty to sort of keep the glass in, you see, because there's a lot of pressure against it. Anyway, I managed to acquire some of this from the research lab at work at the factory. Oh, and I suppose no one actually saw you acquire this stuff. Oh, it's not my fault if they weren't looking. I mean, if it's that precious, they should take it to the dunny with them. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> it, it deserves to mysteriously disappear. Does anyone know you pinched it? Have you escaped from somewhere? Of course they don't. Oh, I'm investigating it. Well, how'd you get that job? I volunteered. <laughs> Don't forget the old ball pit motto, do unto others before they do you. Where is he? I'm going to kill him! Oh, 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 You're supposed to take your clothes off before you go for a swim. I didn't expect to go for a swim, you see, Ted. I was standing in my dining room, you see, Ted. Now think, Ted, how can I get this wet standing in my new dining room? Rising damp? <laughs> I was standing there watching Merle's pet piranhas taking a run in the pool, looking through my new underwater window, which is held in place with a certain new putty. Ah, uh, give us a clue. The putty dissolves in water! You pinched the wrong one! The whole house is underwater, and the piranhas have stripped the cat's tail to the bone! <laughs> What am I going to do? Take it to the RSPCA, I suppose. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Dad! <laughs> Things aren't that bad, Mool. They are. No, they're not. Rosa, do not try to cheer me up with your reckless peasant jocularity. You mad little Mediterraneans seem to thrive on bad luck. Tra-la, tra-la, here comes Doomsday. Let's have a donkey race. <laughs> How dare you get so much enjoyment out of life? I am pure-blooded Anglo-Saxon, and I have never known a day without anxiety. But, Mool, it could have been worse. How could it have been worse? The piranhas could have eaten all your cat. <laughs> they did. Oh. And the budgie. <laughs> Merle, how are you? Oh, what did I say? Oh, shush, Greta. Merle's got problems. Apart from Bob? Yes. You know, you know how most people have their swimming pool outside the house? Yes. Well, Merle's isn't anymore. And you know how most people keep the water inside the waterbed? Yes. Merle's isn't. Oh, you mean the pool and the underwater window with Dad's special putty? Yes, so try and cheer her up a bit, Greet. She's got a very important dinner party tonight. She's hired a butler and everything. Oh, OK. Hello, Auntie Merle. Hello, Greta, my dear. Oh, look, try to cheer up. I've just had a good idea. Huh? 
Look, you don't have to call off the dinner party. Just cancel the butler and hire Ben Crop. <laughs> Why does everyone always blame me? Because it's always your fault. It wouldn't be my fault if everything went right, would it? What are you talking about, Ted? Well, if I got things right, nobody ever says, well done, Ted. That's because you never get anything right. You're a dribbling cretin. <laughs> I haven't dribbled for years. <laughs> I'm really brainy. Do you know how to, I know how to work a digital watch? Yeah, yeah, sure, Ted. Well, Craig sets the time and I adjust the strap. <laughs> Shut up for a while, I'm trying to think. Yeah, but I know how to, I know how to work a digital stopwatch, though. Ha, do you know how old this, this one is? Ha, he, how long I've had this? I'll tell you. 12 million 327 seconds. <laughs> Shut up, Ted. And the battery ran out. <laughs> Listen, somehow or another, I've got to throw a very classy dinner party with all the trimmings for this dopey bloke from the bush. Why? So as you'll be impressed with my wealth and lifestyle, so he'll think if he buys the car business, he'll be like me, and he'll have everything I've got. Oh, I get it. Twiggy boo. Ha <laughs> ha. You sell him the business, he'll be stuck with Merle, huh? <laughs> nah, don't be stupid, Ted. Well, why are you selling the business, then? Money. Pots of it. I've stumbled onto the greatest lurk of all time. What? Oysters. Oysters? Ah, forget it. Doesn't work. I've tried it. What are you talking about? Well, you know, oysters are supposed to put lead, you know, in your... Um, <laughs> in your dingle twang, you know. You know in your dingle twang. Yeah, yeah well, I, 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 uh, I went out and I ate two dozen of them once. You know what happened? What? I had to rush outside for a bit of a herc. <laughs> I'm talking about farming them. Oyster farming? How much land do you need? None. They grow in water. What, you mean like rice? Like you hire boat people to go out and plant them in a swamp? <laughs> No, 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 listen. They are shellfish and they grow in seawater. And there's a fortune to be made. Oh, I'll be in it. How much? Nothing. Oh, I'll go halves then. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, I'll do better than that. I'll do, in fact, what I'll do, what I'll do, I'll have the company and you can work for me. Ah. Listen, mate, this is my ticket to retirement. And to seal the deal, you know, uh, oil the wheels of industry, uh, I've arranged for my girl Friday, Sharon, to... Uh, Look after this bloke. Oh, Sharon, you mean the, the one with the big... Uh, yeah, her. And, uh, and the legs that... Uh, yeah, her. And, uh, you know, and, and, and the satin sheets and the, and the glad wrap. <laughs> yeah, her. Bob, what does she do with the glad wrap? What do you think she does? I don't know. Wrap a lunch in it? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Not a word to Merle now, OK? No, no. What are you up to, oh, Bobby? No, oh, nothing, Merle. I, I'm, I've never been to her flat. So how would I know about the satin sheets and the glad wrap? <laughs> Shut up, Ted! I never said anything. He did, Merle. Honest, he did. Shut up! Mm. Now, we're giving the dinner party here. Here? But we're supposed to be impressing this bloke with a classy joint. Well, tell them we're going to have a picnic in our holiday house. In Goanna Heights? Ring the staff agency and tell them to send the butler and the maid over here. Now, now hang on, Merle. Shut up, Ted. Yeah, oh, oh. Now, Rosa has got things to do in the kitchen. Greta, it would be a big help if you'd look after Ted while we're entertaining. What do you mean? Sit out in the carport with him. Even Ted gets lonely. Oh, now, hang on a minute, Merle. Will somebody listen to me? Shut this up, my... Ted. Merle, we've got a problem. No, not anymore. Greta's going to sit out there with him. No, 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 no. It's the, uh, the butler and the French maid. They've been caught stealing silver. Well, that's all right. Tell them to come over here. There's nothing worth stealing. <laughs> yeah, but they're in jail. Damn. Where are we going to find a butler and a maid at this time of the night? <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at me for? Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar down Bullpit Way. <laughs> hey, Ted, where's my drink? Get it yourself, and don't forget, money on the fridge. <laughs> Listen, Edward, you're a butler tonight, so battle. Hang on. I'll get the French maid. Who are they, Fifi? I am not Fifi, and this outfit is disgusting. It degrades women and reduces me 
to a mere sex object. You look terrific. You should wear it more often. It takes the points off your teeth. <laughs> Come to your master, my little pomme de terre. No! I am not a potato. Of course you're not, my little crepe Suzette. Neither am I a pancake. All right, all right. Settle down. Get me a drink. Listen, you little fat twerp. You know, if you feel vaguely responsible for Dad's putty failure and subsequent disaster, I would have broken your nose hours. No, not hours. Years before now. All right, all right. Honey jacking, honey jacking. Just stand there and look like a gorgeous girl. A what? But, well, you're like a reasonably uh, attractive person with absolutely no sex appeal whatsoever, OK? <sighs> <laughs> All right, I'll get you a drink. Well, Rita, have you ever seen a gown quite like this? I can honestly say, Annie Mill, not even in my wildest dreams have I ever thought anyone could even make a dress like that. <laughs> That's why my designs proudly carry my slogan, Merle of Melbourne, fashions people point at. Rosa, how are things in the engine room? Everything's perfectly under control, Merle, and I... Oh! Merle, what are you wearing? <laughs> Greta, look, look at what Merle's got on. <laughs> you see, fashions people point at. Here, yeah, Merle, wrap yourself around that. Now, where's Ted? Hey, Ted, where are you? They'll be here in a minute. All right, all right. Here I come. <laughs> Edward, the super butler. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, the scarlet pimple of Wombat Crescent. <laughs> Would Sir like a drink? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gee, that was... That's terrific, Ted. Where did you learn to do that? Nothing to it. See? <laughs> oh, Ted, you're so funny. <laughs> I can't cope with this anymore. I'll be in the kitchen. Get the door, Ted. Oh, right. Hang on, I can't open the door. I hold the tray. Get Fifi to do it. Fifi, I'm Greta. Pickle me, Grandmother, is that really you, Greet? Yes. Struth, that's amazing. You look like a real girl. <laughs> you ought to wear that get up more often. Dad, answer the door! All right, all right. Why is everyone shouting at me? Get the door, Ted! Uh, hang on, hang on. Well, well, what's his name? Uh, oh, he's, uh, he's from WA. He's a uh, sand groper. Oh, right, right. Leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Would Sir enter by way of moving inside and coming in? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, I couldn't say that again. Is this Bob Bullpit's place? Yep, and I'm Ted the Butler. G'day. Oh, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sandy Groper. <laughs> Where? You. No, no, no. I'm Keith Mitchell. Oh, you're in the wrong place, mate. <laughs> he's, he's a right, our butler. Always joking. Get him a drink, Ted. Oh, right, right, right. Come right. here, Keith. How are you, mate? Well, I was expecting something a bit bigger, you know, uh, sort of palatial. Yeah, well, as... Uh, this is the tool shed. We're having... <laughs> We're having a picnic. Everybody's doing it these days. Who's she? Merle. Remember the one I was telling you about? You mean her? She's the one? Yeah. Oh, no, mate. Look, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, I mean, she might be a real raver, but fair dinkum, my cattle dog's prettier. How <laughs> dare you! I mean, you wouldn't, would you? That's my wife! Oh, I bet she's got a great personality, though. Yeah, she can bend steel with it. <laughs> hey, but, uh, who's this? Bonsoir, Monsieur Gouilbert. May I have your chapeau? If I may perform any service, do not hesitate to ask. Ah, I get it. Good one, Bobby. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. How dare you! Hi! <laughs> She's a spirited little thing, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, well, that's uh, Fifi. Uh, she's uh, always joking. But uh, wait till you see Sharon talk about a raver. That's if she ever gets it. Oh, no! Oh, no! She's gone to our place. I forgot to tell her. 
Ted, where's Keith's beer? Hang on, Bob. Beer doesn't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean it, Merle. He did. He said his cattle dog was prettier than me. <laughs> punch him, Merle. Oh, ladies do not punch gentlemen. I did. <laughs> yes, but you're not a lady. Well, he's not a gentleman. You're right, Greta. Rosa, pass the path. But, Merle, this is for dessert. Exactly. <laughs> and someone's getting it earlier. <laughs> now, Merle, don't do anything you're going to regret. I won't. You who, Mr. Dog Lover? Oh, no! <laughs> So, you've all been through all this just to get Bob into the oyster business, eh? Yeah. Well, I must say, it does sound interesting. Yeah, well, that's why I thought of it in the first place. I mean, I've always been the brainy one in our family. <laughs> Tell me, uh, do you know how to turn off a digital stopwatch? <laughs> no, mate. As a matter of fact, I don't. My battery went flat at about 12 million seconds. Get away. Great minds, eh? Yeah. Well... A uh, bit of a bumpy start to the evening, Keith, but nothing we can't overcome. <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, I must say the car business does sound like a good deal. It is, it is. But uh, after having a chat to Ted here, I believe there's more money to be made in other areas. Oh, oh. Yeah? Uh, really? Uh, where? Well, I'm going into oyster farming. I'm gonna kill you, Ted! <laughs> 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 <laughs>